Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a video on the Captain Marvel post credit scene, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any Marvel videos later this year. Okay, so I watched Captain Marvel nearly a week ago, actually. I saw it on Monday, so like five days ago. So I loved the film, I thought it was absolutely excellent, one of my favourite Marvel films, and I'm not just saying that just because I watched it early or anything like that, so many people online make the misjudgement that critics are forced to actually like a film, but no, I truly love this film, and so now I want to talk about the post credit scene, so I've been meaning to do this video all week, but now I'm finally getting around to it, and so... The Captain Marvel post credit scene set up a lot, especially to do with Avengers Endgame. So if you don't want to be spoiled and you haven't watched the film yet, it came out last night at like midnight in the UK and America, so I'm sure lots of you guys have seen it already, and if you see it again today, like I'm seeing it again today, I'm sure you can watch this video afterwards. So click off right now if you don't want to be spoiled, but let's get into the spoilers. So. The first post credit scene, or the mid credit scene, however they call it, is you see Captain America, Black Widow, Rhodey, and Banner, and they're all together inside the Avengers building, and they are looking at some upside down glowing test tubes, and I'm unsure as to what specifically they mean, but I'm guessing it has something to do with how they're trying to fix what Thanos did, and so it links heavily into Avengers Infinity War and how it ended and then we go over to the pager which we saw at the end of Infinity War Nick Fury actually used it and you saw the Captain Marvel sign and it was on the ground so somehow they got it and they brought it back to their building and I'm guessing they tracked where Nick Fury last was and they found it or something like that I don't think they have to explain that and so you see the pager and it's flashing and it stops beeping and then after this they are sort of confused and they want to find out what does this mean and they are greeted by Captain Marvel aka Carol Danvers this is in 2019 so we end Captain Marvel I believe in the mid 90s I forgot the exact date but it's over 25 years in the future and she's got this new suit. Her suit is sort of the same but it has like extra gold pieces on and she's behind and she says, where's Fury? Oh my god, I freaked out when that happened because as you know, I really liked Captain Marvel so much so I was just kind of buzzing to see her again, especially with the Avengers because I think that's a really, really great concept and so seeing her actually turn up is like, whoa, come on. That's amazing and so basically what there is to explain is the pager has called her from wherever she flew off at the end of Captain Marvel she's come back and she, the reason why she looks the same is because she has that Kree power inside of her well not Kree power but the sort of explosion I forgot what it's called like a reaction I guess but yeah so that's all really what is to explain about that scene because it just sets up Endgame the fact that this is the first time she has actually met them and I'm presuming when we go to Endgame we won't start from that specific scene, we'll see them already integrated and talking together because, you know, she's come back for Fury and she's met the Avengers, she doesn't know where the Avengers are, but she was the reason why Nick Fury called it the Avengers because in the past, in the 90s, she was, as you saw at the end of Captain Marvel, big spoiler alert, she was Carol something Avenger Danvers on her jet and that is Nick Fury's inspiration for the Avengers title and so the final post credit scene is right at the end and it's nothing special but it's just funny and you see Goose and he is on a desk and he's vomiting out the Tesseract and it's just like a really funny scene and I believe that's actually in the past and it's probably just a reminder to Fury that he has the Tesseract just you know to set up what's to come because as you know Loki gets the Tesseract and then it goes to Thanos and so on and so forth and we've seen it so many times like Red Skull had it at one point so it's a big thing and so Thank you guys so much for watching this video, if you did enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe so you don't miss any Marvel videos because I love talking about Marvel and yes I know my channel is the DC TV show as many of you point out but I just make any video I want to make that I want to talk about so that's what I'm doing so if you do want to see more Marvel videos subscribe, turn on notifications 
and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.